Hello and welcome, it's Bushwacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's video, we are going to be putting together a cooling system for our base. Over the past couple episodes, I've shown you guys how to pressurize your base up, and once you've done that, you're going to need to know how to maintain a steady temperature. For this tutorial, we're just going to need a couple things. We're going to need some pipe radiator, passive vent, a wall cooler, some pipe, and some valves. Also, we're going to be doing some logic, so we're going to need two logic input outputs, one logic memory, and one logic processor, along with some cable coil. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our wall cooler, and we're just going to find a good spot for it. So why don't we build it? We will build it right here. Okay. And then we can grab our pipe and we can start laying this down. Now the wall cooler is going to need some air inside the, this pipe here in order for it to work because it needs to be able to dissipate the heat somehow. So we're going to do that by putting down a three-way junction here. We'll grab a pipe valve and we'll throw it down right here. There we go. And we'll place our passive vent right there. That'll allow us to at least get our ambient air pressure into this piping network so that it can start working. Now we will grab some of this stuff and we will go outside. Because we're in space, there is no atmosphere, so that's going to help us and hurt us in some ways. The good thing is it's going to allow our piping network, especially when in the dark, to get extremely cold. But, because there is no atmosphere, it's going to happen a lot slower than it would in an actual atmosphere. Okay, I've placed down my pipe here. Now I'm also going to put another valve at the end of this. And we'll just place a passive vent at the end of this. This is going to allow us to be able to bleed off this air just in case it gets extremely hot or extremely pressurized. The next step is going to be placing down our radiators. Okay, there we go. Now we can go back inside. Okay, now that we're back inside, we can open up this valve, and that's going to allow some of this ambient air pressure just to go into the pipes, and it'll allow our wall cooler to start working. While that's going on, we will start wiring this up. Okay, I've got that all wired up, and the final step is going to be closing this valve, and now we can turn on our wall cooler. There we go, and now it's working. It should be decreasing the temperature. And it should be decreasing the temperature in our base. Okay, and it's only been running for a couple seconds here, but you can already tell that it is decreasing the temperature in our base. Now the final step we want to do with this is build a system so that it won't cool our base too much. So, we will grab two logic input outputs. The first one will be a logic reader, and the second one will be a logic writer. We'll grab our logic math here, and we will make it a logic compare. And finally, we'll grab our memory and place that down. Now I'll wire it up real quick. Okay, now that everything is wired up, I can grab my labeler here, and it's going to be important that we label this stuff, because we already have some other logic built into our base here. So we'll have this temp reader, name this memory, 288. I always like labeling it exactly what it is, just in case if it can be used somewhere else. This is going to be our compare. Let's do temp compare. And finally, we're going to have temp write. Okay, we can throw our label maker away. So we'll turn on our reader. We'll turn our input to the gas sensor. There we go. And the variable this time, instead of pressure like we had last time, we want our temperature. So 286 it is right now and falling because our AC unit is already turned on. Then we want to turn on our compare. And we want to say that if our temperature reader is less, is greater than, sorry, temperature reader is greater than our memory, 
288, then we want this to turn on, which will mean that we turn on our wall cooler. So we'll come down to our logic writer. And we want our input to be our temperature compare. Oh, which I just had. Temperature compare. And we want our output to be our wall cooler. There we go, wall cooler, and our output variable to be on. So now we can turn this on. And that should turn our wall cooler off, because right now our temperature is cooler than what we want it to be. So now we can just wait and we will watch this happen. And while we're waiting for the temperature to get up to 288 degrees Kelvin, I can talk to you guys just a little bit. You may be wondering why I just built an air cooler. There are uh, wall heaters in the game as well. But it seems as though all of the electrical equipment and the sun especially coming through the windows seems to heat environments a lot more than your base would ever cool down. So it always seems, I mean, you can see it's nighttime here. I mean, there's no sun coming in here at all. And the temperature is still slowly climbing in here. So that's why right now, in this particular base, we're only concerned about building a, a wall cooler. Now, if you had another circumstance where maybe a base was underground or had no windows or anything like that, you may have to do a similar system just with a wall heater, which is much easier. All you have to do is plug it in and it starts working and then build the same kind of logic system for it to heat up the environment. That's why I've chosen just to build a wall cooler. Okay, you can see we're getting really close to 288 degrees or 288 Kelvin here. And there we go. We turned on our wall cooler for just a second there. And unfortunately, this isn't the best system in the world because it's just going to continue to cycle on and off and on and off pretty rapidly. But at least it's going to keep your base at a very consistent temperature. And there we go. We have a base that is kept at about 15 degrees Celsius and a kept at a pressure of 105 or so kilopascals. I've been receiving a lot of comments recently that you guys would like to see how to build a greenhouse and how to be able to grow wheat and corn and all that good stuff. Well, these past couple tutorials have really been key, seeing as you're gonna need to keep a steady pressurized environment and keep an environment that keeps a pretty steady temperature as well. So definitely be looking for that video in the future, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Make sure not to miss any of my videos by subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, you can go ahead and leave those below. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.